Let's go to the details related to different file formats supported by stored as clause using Spark SQL. You can actually go to this Hive language manual and review supported file formats. You can go to this create drop truncate table. And then if you look at the syntax of create table, after specifying create table along with the column names, the column names goes uh, here. So this is where you specify the column names after create table. Then you can have table comment if you want to specify the table comment. Then you can have these additional clauses. Then you can specify row format if you are using text file format. Otherwise you just have to say stored as uh, and you have to specify the file format. You have to maintain this order while creating the table otherwise it will not work. Now to review the supported file formats under stored as you can actually scroll down to go to the file format clause details here. And these are the file formats that are supported out of the box. We have sequence file, text file, rc file, orc, parquet, avro, json file and also we can uh, plug in third party file formats also. It is out of the scope at this time. We'll just focus on the other important file formats. Out of these file formats, sequence file is outdated and not used extensively. We use text file as part of the landing zone uh, databases because from source systems, we typically get the files in the form of text files. And hence, as part of the landing zone, we tend to use uh, the text file format while creating the tables. RC file is outdated. Uh, nowadays, no one is using RC file. ORC is very popular in Hive, however when it comes to Spark, Spark doesn't recommend ORC, Spark typically recommends Parquet. So Parquet is extensively used as part of the Spark Metastore tables. Avro is another file format which we tend to use. JSON file also is quite useful but it is not uh, available as part of the earlier versions of Hive or Spark. So at this time you can either focus on Parquet and Avro or both and then you should be able to perform some examples and you can take it further. Now let's go back to the labs and let us actually drop the database ITVersity underscore SMS if it exists. Then let me create the database once again. Let me connect it to the database using use command. Now if you look at the create table command which I'm going to execute, everything else is same as we have seen earlier with respect to the creating tables. Only as part of the stored as class we have Avro. You can actually create the table like this and the files that will be created when we actually insert the data either by running insert commands like this to insert individual records or even when we actually run a select query to insert into a table automatically it will generate the avro files spark engine will take care of creating the files of type avro and getting data into it let us run these commands these commands will insert four records into the table then we can actually preview the data by saying select star from students if you want to see the files, you can actually run the simple uh, Scala based code and you should be able to see the files. So let me say import sys.process.underscore and then uh, let me also create a variable called as username here uh, using system.get property. Property is nothing but user.name. Once we create this, then what I can do is I can just say yes, hdfs, dfs hyphen ls slash user slash username slash warehouse this is the warehouse directory for my database and then i can say dollar username like this underscore sms dot db then the table name is nothing but students and then i have to use exclamation mark here and i should be able to run this and we should be able to see the files and these files doesn't have extension but they are avro files if you want to validate, you can actually open the terminal and you can try running cat against it and you will see all uh, binary characters. You will not be seeing the data clearly. So let me open the terminal here and then let me use hdfs dfs hyphen cat and let me paste this and you should be able to see special characters. And this is empty. There are no records in it. Let me use some other file. Actually, there is uh, the size is 992 bytes, but it is not showing up anything. It's because of the special characters in it. The uh, console might not be able to show those characters. Uh, if you run the command select star from the table, you can see that it is showing up the results. So uh, for some reason, it is not showing up the data here. You can actually get and you can try to preview the data. If you want to create parquet table, you just have to replace this avro with parquet. If you want to specify the location to create an external table, you can actually specify the location after this and then you should be able to point to the different location as well while creating external table or even with respect to manage table also, we can specify the location. 
but in some of the versions of Spark, the tables with the location will automatically become XML tables. That being said, let me drop the database set again. Let me create the database. Let me run this use command to connect to the database. Anyway, we are connected to the database, so it will not have any special effect. Now let me create this table. It will be created without any issues. When it comes to inserting the data, whether it is a text file format table or a parquet file format table or arrow file format table, it will not make any difference. The syntax of insert commands are same. We are running same insert commands here. Then I am running self star from students table here and we can see the results. Now if I go back to this uh, folder and uh, check the files, you can see that there is an extension called as parquet here along with snappy. So by default, Parquet files are compressed using Snappy algorithm. That's why you see Snappy here. And uh, this is where the files will be. And if you try to run cat command on this, let me copy one of these uh, file uh, paths. And let me run hdfs dfs hyphen cat on that file. And let me see what it uh, shows. Yeah, because of the special characters, it is not showing up here. I can actually use uh, the terminal, connect to the labs. I am connecting to the labs through terminal instead of using the terminal from Jupyter Hub. In this case, I want to connect to gw01.itwatch.com. I am using training as user. I am using ITVST as the user for Jupyter Hub. Let me actually connect to ITVST here. Now I can actually say hdfsdfs-cat on this path. You can see all special characters here because uh, when it comes to Avro or Parquet, it actually stores the data in the binary format, not just in plain text format. So this is how you should be able to use the stored as clause to create tables with the supported file formats. The supported file formats are nothing but sequence file, text file, RC file, ORC, Parquet and Avro. JSON file is introduced in recent versions. You should primarily focus on text file, Parquet and Avro. Others are not that important with respect to this park.